What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about this Lee code question, find the kth largest element in an array. So you might be wondering, how do I, oh whoops, <laughs> how do I find the kth largest element in an array? So what does that mean? So this is a question, find kth largest element in array or in, in anything, basically. You're just trying to find the kth largest element in array. So, what does that mean? Well, let's say I have an array of some random numbers. Let's say, um, let's say, I'll just use this example. Four, five, eight, two, three, five, ten, uh, whoops, I need more space, nine, and four. So I have these values in my array. The kth largest element would be like, find the first largest number. So like, let's say if k equals one, that means I wanna find the first largest number, which is the largest number. If k equals the two, that means I want to find the second largest and so on, right? If I wanna find, if k equals one, that means I wanna find the first largest. If k equals two, I want to find the second largest number. Okay, so you might be wondering, well, have this array. What's the most basic way to solve this question? Easiest way is to sort the array first. Now, if I were to sort this array, which would be, uh, let's see, if I were to sort this array, I would get these numbers. Okay, so like, let's say two, two is gone, so I'm gonna put a check mark when it's done. Uh, three, I sort this way, four, four, there's another four here, uh, five, uh, there's another five here, yeah, five here, five, uh, what was else, eight, nine, and then ten, yeah, so eight, nine, and then eight, nine, and then ten. So if I were to sort these arrays, sort the array, Kth largest element, so if I want the first largest, it would always be at the end of the array, right? So if k equals one, the first largest element would be 10, right? So this would be, if k equals a one, right? First largest is 10. It would be always at the end array. What about if k equals a two? What is the second largest? Second largest number would be nine. Second largest would be nine. Third largest would be eight. And so on and so on, okay? Now, what is the problem with the solution? Problem is that if I have an array that is this size, basically, I would have to sort the array first, then I would have to iterate from the end. I have to iterate the values from the end until I get to whatever the kth value is, right? So like if, like I showed you already, uh, first largest is 10, second largest is nine, third largest is eight. So now you might be asking, how do I solve this then? How am I supposed to solve this problem if I only, how do I make this problem more efficient, right? Like if I can't just build like like sort the array every single time and then iterate from the end. I mean, you could, but that takes time complexity of O of N, uh, N log N to sort, assuming that this time complexity, assuming, oh, whoops, assuming this time complexity, uh, I need to move this upward here. Assuming this time complexity is a uh, quick sort, that would get you, you have to do this every single time and then after that, you have to iterate from the end, and that would be another O of n, o of n time complexity to iterate from the end. So how do I do this question? Well, another way to do this problem is to think about how, just to use something called a heap. Now, a heap is basically, depending on the type of the heap, it's basically an array that is sorted already, 
except you only have the access to the first value, okay? So if it's a min heap, that means that all the values in the array or in the whatever, how many, uh, all the values are sorted from decreasing order, uh, increasing order, yeah, min heap. That means that the first value would be the smallest, the second one would be the second smallest, third will be third smallest, yada, yada, yada. If you use a max heap, that means the first value would be the largest element, second would be the second largest, third element would be the third largest. So now how do you do this with a heap? Okay, so what you could do with a max heap, basically like I told you already, heaps are basically sorted arrays, except you only have access to the top element. So in this example here, four, five, eight, nine, two, three, five, ten, nine, four. If I were to build a heap of all these elements, right, with a max heap, this is going to be a max heap. I'm not going to go into how like heapify works and how all the elements of how heaps maintain their structures, but I'll just show you what it would look like if you were to build a max heap of, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine elements, right? What's going to happen is that all these elements are exactly going to be build a max heap. The largest elements would be first. So this is going to be the same thing, except it's going to decrease in uh, decreasing order. So this would be ten. Uh, let's see, nine. Oh, I could just look at the bottom front. Nine, eight, five, five, four, four, five, five, four, four, three, two. Okay, uh, this is actually not how it's like structured in like the, uh, that's actually not how a heap would work, look like, but I'm just showing you like, like how it's like internally, how it's structured. It's not actually how like a heap would look like. Heaps use things are like binary search trees, like the way that it looks like, but this is just how like, I'll, I'll just show you guys how it would work if you're using a max heap. So if you were to build the same array using a max heap, and you want to find the kth largest, kth largest, right? If k equals to one, that's the first largest. That's just gonna be 10, okay? So that would give us uh, the value of 10. What if I wanna find the second largest? Well, I only have access to the first element of the heap. So that means I have to pop it. I have to remove the first element from the heap. So that means I have to remove 10 and look at the top most element, which would be nine. So then in this case, K, if the second largest element would be nine. So you can see the issues with this. The problem is that you would have to go through if uh, based on your previous array, if the size is uh, N or like, let's say the size is equal to N, in this case, uh, nine, nine elements, you have to build a max heap of nine elements and then you would have to iterate, uh, not iteratable, yeah, it would, you basically have to iterate, but you would have to keep removing the first element once you finish building your heap, and then you have to get the first element every time, and then that basically is going to be your answer. So that's the issue with the max heap. So what is the best way to do this instead of using a max heap? Well, you have to use a min heap. Now you might be wondering, how am I gonna do this with a min heap? Min heaps are sorted smallest to largest, right? Smallest to largest. You only, and you only have access to the first value of the heap, which means that you only have access to the smallest elements of your data. Okay, so I'm going to get another sheet of paper. So back at our example again, we're gonna use a, uh, yeah, okay, we're gonna use a min heap. Uh, min heap way, okay. Okay, so this is our data again, our array. 
this is this is what was given to us. Okay, this is the I wrote min heap. This is not the min heap, but uh, four, five, eight, two, three, five, ten, nine, and four. Okay, so how do I do this with a min heap? What you're gonna do is you are going to build a min heap of size k. So k is gonna be, uh, so remember we're given, we have to find the kth largest element, right? If I want to find, I'm gonna build, so kth largest is like, uh, remember I told you already, first, uh, if k equals one, first largest, two, k equals two, second largest, k equals three, third largest. I'm going to build a min heap of size k. So in this case, it's going to be, let's say I want k equal to 3. That means I'm going to have, so I want to find third largest element, right? That is going to be k equal to 3. So I'm going to have three elements here. And in a min heap, remember, the smallest elements are first, and it goes smallest to largest, right? So I'm going to iterate through my array. And I'm going to add the values uh, into my heap. So four, five, eight. It's already sorted, right? It's already sorted from smallest to largest. So it'd be four, five, eight. This is, this is just an example of how min heap works. It, it's not actually like a, this is our current uh, min heap. It's not, this, this is not how it's structured in memory, by the way. But uh, I'm just showing you guys, if you were to use a min heap, this is what it would look like, okay? It's a, like, actually they would have like a nodes pointing to left to right child. But just for simple simplicity's sake, I made it like this, okay? Okay? So, now, we're building a min heap, four, five, eight. Now, what am I gonna do? I am basically going to check the first element of my min heap, which is four, while I'm iterating through it, through the array, if whatever value is larger than four, if the current value that I'm iterating through the array is larger than my min heap, I'm gonna remove the first value of my min heap and that's gonna reorder everything, okay? I'm gonna keep doing that until I get to the end of the array. So in this case, we already added the first, uh, first uh, k equal, uh, first k values into the array. So I'm gonna start out here at two. Is two greater than four? No, so I'm not going to add or remove the first value of my human heap. So now, is three greater than four? No, so I'm not going to add the first value of my human heap. Okay, is five greater than four? Yes, so what am I gonna do? In my heap, I'm gonna remove the fourth value and I'm gonna add the, the fifth value. And then what, uh, in the internals of the heap, it's basically going to sort it for you. Yeah, uh, you we are, we are not going to go over how heapify works, how that uh, all the internals of a heap works. But basically, it would get you the sorted values, and you would have five, five, eight. I'm add. I added five after I removed four, so I have five, five, eight. Now, what about ten? Ten is greater than five. Okay, I'm going to remove five, and I'm going to add ten to my heap. So now that will, uh, after all the heap of five works, five, eight, 10, okay? Okay, um, what about nine? Nine is greater than five. So I'm going to, nine is greater than five. I'm gonna remove the first value of five and I'm gonna add nine to my heap. So now it's gonna be eight, nine, 10. And that's going to, after all the heapify works, it makes it in sorted order from smallest to largest, eight, nine, 10. Then I'm gonna add four. Oh no, I'm not gonna add four. I'm not gonna add four because four is not greater than eight. Four is not greater than eight, so yeah, I'm not gonna add it. So now my, my heap in the end, my in heap, me, hit min heap in the end, is going to be eight, nine, 10. So if I wanted to find, remember, kth largest, the third largest element is just end up is going to be 
8. The first value of our min heap, which is going to be 8. So if k equals a 3, the third largest is going to be the first value of our min heap, which is going to be 8. And as you can see here, oh, whoops. As you can see here, that means uh, this 8 is exactly the same thing as if we sorted our array and iterated from the end. If k equals 3, third largest is 8. So that's how you would find the kth largest element in array with a min heap. You would pretty much uh, maintain your min, min heap to, you would have a min heap of size k, and then you would maintain it, and if, while you're iterating through your array, if it's larger than the first value, the topmost value of our heap, we're going to remove the topmost value of our heap, and then we're going to add the value into our min heap. Okay? So that's basically how you would do it. I explained you guys how to do this question. Now we're going to go and actually code it in the, the uh, problem. So the problem was basically kth largest element in a stream, but that's basically the same thing as the problem kth largest element in an array. So now we're going to go ahead and code it in the, in the, I'm going to move to the computer and I'm going to code this with you guys. Oh, okay, I'm going to create a priority queue, which is a heap. It's going to be an integer. I'm going to pass in a vector. Uh, it would be greater. And I'll call this min heap. Okay. Then I'm going to go through my elements in my array. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do if my size of my min heap is less than k, uh, k, which is the size I'm building, k is the size that I'm building, right? If my min heap size is less than k, then I'll just add it to my min heap. Okay. Now, else, if the value I'm adding is greater than the min heaps, uh, min heaps uh, to top topmost value. The value I'm adding is greater than the min heaps topmost value. Then I'm going to basically, I'm going to basically do is I'm going to remove the min heap, remove the top value of the min heap, and then I'm going to add the value push min nums at i. Okay, and in the end, after this for loop, uh, I'm going to return min heap dot top. Submit it and it got accepted. Faster than 97.78%. So, yeah, that's how you do this question. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later.